What we know is that our children and young people will be entering into a global jobs market where skills around creativity, being able to adapt, being able to think of new ways of solving problems, perhaps problems we haven't even encountered yet, is going to be absolutely crucial. So as we move towards our new curriculum in Wales, developing creativity in our children and young people is absolutely key. Well, through our Creative Learning Through the Arts programme, uh, it's wonderful to be able to work alongside the Arts Council for Wales to put uh, artists in all their forms uh, into schools, uh, working with children in a variety of ways to develop their literacy and their numeracy and their personal development. We want to give children a broad range of experiences also and the Creative Learning Through the Arts programme allows us to develop their skills whilst giving them some really fantastic opportunities to try new things and to experience things that perhaps for a whole variety of reasons they wouldn't be able to do at home. It's been another successful year for the programme and what's really gratifying to me is to see other countries from around the world beginning to look at our approach to creative learning through the arts here in Wales and Wales beginning to be uh, at the forefront of this agenda and other countries wanting to learn uh, from us and that's uh, a really proud moment for, for me as the Education Cabinet Secretary but also a proud moment for schools and, uh, and our arts practitioners who are working alongside with us. Well, it's a really varied programme that allows us to match practitioners of the arts uh, with individual schools to work on specific uh, projects through to our opportunity to allow schools to bid for funding to, to visit a museum, to visit a live performance, to be able to experience music, dance, sculpture or simply a trip to the theatre. So it's a really wide programme that allows children to be able to develop their creativity, to find new ways into areas of learning and to experience something that perhaps they wouldn't normally get to do. Uh, recently, uh, a school in Mid Wales were able to take a class of children to a theatre performance. And one child turned to a teacher and said, how did the people get out of the TV? And it just shows you the impact uh, of the programme has uh, on individual uh, lives, opening up a whole world of possibilities to our youngsters. Well, um, what's really important is that we continue to work in partnership uh, with the Arts Council, but also to evaluate the programme. We need to demonstrate that this is really making a difference and how this programme uh, assists us with delivering on what I call our national mission. That national mission is to raise standards in our schools, close the attainment gap and ensure that we have an education system in Wales that is a source of national pride and public confidence. So we can't take for granted that these uh, programmes uh, are, are having that difference. We need to study their impact and we need to see that that's also uh, contributing to our national mission. It's been a really positive year and we can look at statistics and we can look at figures in an annual report but what's so important is to hear the feedback from children and teachers and they love being part of the programme.